Welcome fellow gamer, my name is Dude Mount, and in today's video I will talk about the automatic rifle class in Battle Beat the Master. And of course what is the best weapon in this class. I will show you the weapons based stats, how the stats actually transfer in game for all weapons, how you can use the weapons to its max potential and the attachments that are normally used. These weapons are probably one of the most used weapons in the game. And there is something that I discover about this class. This class of weapons is actually three different classes in one class. So stay with me to discover more about the automatic rifle class. First, I will let you on the screen all the weapon space stats and if you need additional information about a gun, feel free to pause the video. So let's start with some of the most important stats of these weapons. The AK-74 has a TTK of 280 milliseconds and it needs 4 shots in the chest to eliminate a target. And with a headshot TTK of 187 milliseconds that needs 3 shots in the head to eliminate the target. This weapon brings a 30 bullet mag with a reload time of 3.64 seconds. And as a damage fall off, that starts at 75 meters up to 300 meters. Next, we have the F2000 with a TTK of 294 milliseconds and needs 5 shots in the chest to eliminate a target. And with a headshot TTK of 196 milliseconds that needs 3 shots in the head to eliminate the target. This weapon brings a 35 bullet mag with a reload time of 3.51 seconds and a damage fall off that starts at 95 meters up to 300 meters. Next we have the AUG A3 with a TTK of 323 milliseconds and it needs 4 shots in the chest to eliminate the target and with a headshot TTK of 215 milliseconds that needs 3 shots in the head to eliminate the target. This weapon brings a 30 bullet mag with a reload time of 2.83 seconds and a damage fall off that starts at 160 meters up to 300 meters. Next we have the SG-550 with a TTK of 309 milliseconds and it needs 4 shots in the chest to eliminate the target and with a headshot TTK of 206 milliseconds that needs 3 shots in the head to eliminate the target. This weapon brings a 30 bullet mag with a reload time of 3.3 seconds and a damage fall off that starts at 160 meters up to 300 meters. Next we have the FAMAS with a TTK of 256 milliseconds and it needs 4 shots in the chest to eliminate the target and with a headshot TTK of 171 milliseconds that needs 3 shots in the head to eliminate the target. This weapon brings a 25 bullet mag with a reload time of 3.07 seconds and a damage fall off that starts at 75 meters up to 300 meters. And finally for the last weapon we have the ACR with a TTK of 306 milliseconds and it needs 4 shots in the chest to eliminate the target and with a headshot TTK of 204 milliseconds that needs 3 shots in the head to eliminate the target. This weapon brings a 30 bullet mag with a reload time of 3.39 seconds and a damage fall off that starts at 75 meters up to 300 meters. So after seeing all these more important stats, you have three distinct types of weapons. In this class the AUG and the SG-550 that have a crazy damage fall off that starts at the impressive 160 meters in comparison with all other weapons that start at 75 meters and the F-2000 at 95 meters these two weapons the AUG and the SG-550 are great weapons for long range engagements. Then we have the F-2000 and the FAMAS that have a low recoil and are the easiest guns to control and aim in this class. And finally we have the AK-74 and the ACR that output more damage but have higher recoils and recoil pattern. So because of that this class has to be divided in three different subcategories. So first I will talk about these two weapons made for long engagements. These two weapons if you look only at the stats they are almost identical. Yes you have some differences here and there but at the end with these little differences 
you will end up getting the same result, the same shots to kill and almost the same TTK. After playing with these two weapons I got the feeling that the AUG had a better control over the recoil and the recoil pattern, that is partner SG550. Not only that, but also the AUG has a better reload time of 2.83 seconds, that is partner with 3.3 seconds, that will help a lot with your ammo management. The AUG already has the best reload time for his class, and with some attachments, this weapon can reload mags as fast as you can say Kentucky Fried Chicken. So for me, the AUG A3 is the best weapon for this subclass of automatic rifle class. And for the other subclass of weapons with a more generous recoil, we still have the F2000 and the Famix. And once again, the TTKs are not that far away from one another, but when I was playing with the automatic rifle class, I noticed that if you struggle with the recoil pattern in this class, well, you have better off using the F2000 or the FAMAS. These two guns have the higher fire rate for this class, but the recoil pattern and horizontal recoil are low, making these two weapons the easiest weapons to aim at your targets, especially the F2000 that not only has a low horizontal recoil of 0.6, but also a low vertical recoil of 1. The FAMAS has the bigger vertical recoil, but once again, the vertical recoil is the easiest recoil to control. But if I had to choose, well, I would go with the FAMAS, because of its TTK. The only problem with the FAMAS is that you have to know how to manage the ammo. With its 25 bullet mag and 900 RPMs, the mags will be empty in 1.7 seconds. That is really fast. And with a reload time of 3.07 seconds. The management of your ammo has to be well done, or you can find yourself in tight situations all the time. But if that is a problem, then use the F2000, that will serve you well. Then we have the automatic rifles that have more recoil and more recoil pattern, but also more base damage, like the AK-74 and the ACR. And in this contest, there is no other option than choosing the AK-74. And yes, if you just look at the stats, the ACR looks a little bit better, less recoil, more fire rate, a quicker reload time, but the difference between them is really tiny. The only aspect that the AK-74 is better is the 32 damage profile, but this stat makes that the AK-74 has, in the end, a better TTK, and if the recoil doesn't bother me, I will always choose the weapon that kills the fastest. And after playing with both weapons, I got the feeling that the AK-74 has a better recoil pattern than his partner ACR. So, in the end, you end up with these weapons as the best weapons for their subclass, and I will add the best attachments that I normally use with them. At the end, if your playstyle and engagement range is more of a long range, I will suggest you to use the AUG A3. But if you are more of a mid-range player but you struggle with the recoil, I will suggest you to use the FAMAX. But if you really like laser weapons, you can choose the F2000. But if you don't mind the extra recoil and you like to play without worrying about the bullet management, then I will suggest to you to use the AK-74. And that's it, we have reached the end of this video, and I would love to know what is your favorite weapon in this class. Feel free to share your ideas in the comment section. And I hope that you have enjoyed this video, and if so, consider to leave a like or dislike, that will help this channel reaching other players. And if you don't want to miss future content, please consider to subscribe to the channel, and click on the bell icon to receive the notifications from future videos. And I will see you all on my next video, but until then, have a nice day, good gaming, Dune Mountain out.